Okay, welcome back. This is what we like to achieve with this tutorial today. Nice and twisted tower. No rhino, no grasshopper needed. All done in Archicare. All right, let's step right into it. This is the base I start my tutorial with. I've got a very simple triangle shape and bit some internal walls, some windows, external walls. All right. What is important is from the middle of the triangle, I drew a circle which intersects with the end of each corner. Another one is important here, the line. This line goes from that corner into the middle of the triangle. So the reason is I don't want to rotate it around the middle. I actually like to rotate my stories halfway between this corner and the middle. So if you see, I get easy here, the middle point of my line. Okay, first bit is to draw a column in this corner. For this purpose, I take a slab and got to make sure the slab go upwards, keep it on zero level and I go 3600 high. Change this to material of course, and column one, layer columns and we hit OK. Now before I draw this, I'd like to show you my story settings which is very simple ground floor on zero and high to next floors I got them at 3600 going up. I created 30 stories. All right, I like to draw my slab or you know in this case the column size one and a half so you just go like this one and a half and then we go right one and a half plus again and we close this. So this is my first column on the corner at one and a half meter width on each side. All right, next one is I will take this slab and copy one up, rotating it. So we go copy and we go to the next level, paste it in, there we go. I've got my reference at the moment, as you can see the ground floor, I use just a simple red color, which I, instead of having 100%, I usually got sort of 50% down. All right, let's have a look what we got in 3D here. That's what I want, yeah, perfect. So, now I rotate the slab, select, and we rotate, as I mentioned, in the middle of the line and I want to go at an angle of, just hit two, enter. All right, there you go. Now we got to adjust this column to the next floor slab on level one. So what I do is we select and we change this to a move object. Now I can move those corners there I'll show you after how to do exactly one and a half meters that we have the same. I just want to make sure they... Yeah, perfect. So now I want to have always the same as at the, at the bottom. So take this, you go there and you just say one and a half minus and we do the same here. One five hundred minus and that should be one and a half meters each. Just to make sure that this is correct. Let's have a quick look. All right, go up here and we can have a quick measure. Just take a line. There you go, one five hundred, one five hundred. Perfect. So the next bit is now, as you probably saw already, we got to cut off the corner here. So just take the slab, and say, all right, you know, you can cut it off with, with the tool, with the spitting tool, um, but to make sure you got the right length, you have to make sure you got the right triangle. So I'll show you this, cut here from that point to that point, cut it off, and we have a look. 
There you go. So that's good. Next one is, as you can see, we've got to adjust the corner here and here. I might um, draw a mark here around it. It's a bit easier to work in 3D. There you go. Don't have all the whole model. All right. As you can imagine, you need obviously to change that slab also into a morph. There we go. And now you can move your corners. All right, let's take this one. You can see when it changes here. And then we turn around because we have to go the other way too. You get um, a lot of um, help lines if you do this. So if you click here, see it sort of takes that line. So I can go there. All right. And turn around. There we go. And we do the same with this side. Turn along here. There we go. See some start up. And this is actually just shadow. You see it's a shadow. I, I turn it off quickly. It, it's a little, little bit confusing. So ah, there you go, that's better. And now we have to move that one out. See, there you go. It does it does go to this one. Sometimes a bit fiddly, but you don't have to do this too often, you will see. You just have to. There you go. All right. So, as you can see, that's the first corner we cut off. Next one is, let's go down. This will get easier. This is just the very, you will see this is the very first level I do this and after it's a, it's a lot easier if we go up the stories. So this one here, I'll just rotate two copies from obviously the corner of the slab there and we go there. All right, let's have a look. So if we go up now, oh, we still got the cut there. Sorry about that. Take my key out for now. So because I didn't rotate in the middle, they're different on those two corners. So we have to do this again, just as we did with the first corner. All right, now in my case, because it's, all, it's the same again, I'll just speed this up a bit for you. All right, so that's all done. There you go. So we got all those three corners with our columns. All right, next step, got the ground floor. You take those columns here and you copy them up by actually just rotate them, increment on one, one copy. 3600 high and I want to set home story by elevation. So make sure you're not going in the middle, it has to go in the middle of the line. There you go. There. And we do two. And that. So if I go up there, there you go, turn that off. We got our columns in each corner. Let's have a look how that looks. All right, that's perfect. Great, should have really done at the same time my walls and my windows, but that will do for now. I just um, do that again. There we go. Hit OK in the middle and back to continue. Let's have a look. Oh, that's still selected. So All right. there you go, perfect. So I've got this now. And to make it a bit more interesting, I will draw a handrail on the first floor. You know, just a simple one. Uh, railing. 
had it selected as a normal uh, so you, you just go and choose in you know just choose a simple one here I just choose seamless glass one all right let's draw one here go from there to there all right let's see what we got here yeah perfect as you can see you gotta be careful with this corner here it's sticking out so it just go maybe do a 200 offset yeah perfect there you go and we do this in, in each of the other balconies in this case I go oh I gotta be careful see I can't go around there so what I can do is I can mirror one from that and um, you know from, from this corner and this corner I'll take as a uh, mirror length. So let's just go and mirror copy. Uh, we are over here. Mirror copy. Let's go. Go from that corner to that corner. See, there you go. And we do the same with the other side. Easy as. There we go. And there. All right. Let's see what we got. Yeah, it's looking good, it's looking good. So, go down here and we go and group this. It's easier to copy up. So, we just group this. And now we're ready for the fun part because I wanna copy this up. Um, I've got 30, I've got 30 stories. Okay, let's um, <coughs> select all this and we Stop suspending groups to make sure that's all connected. Yes, it is. And we copy this up. So I'll rotate. I want to have um, 29 stories. I got one already. There we go. Increment 3600. And got to go to the ground floor, obviously, to make sure I've got it in the middle. There we go. And we go. Two degrees, hit enter, and this will take about 10 15 seconds because obviously Archicad has to produce all those elements in each story, and then we'll see how it looks. Click continue. All right. There you go, you got your twisted tower. All right, see, it's bending nicely this way. And it's twisted around. In my case, it's just for the purpose of this tutorial. I'll get rid of the top, you know, just so I have. There you go. Oh, there's one more, and then we have sort of a roof at the top perfect see there you go looks great I think I will um, render some up for you actually to have a bit more fun I decided to um, copy a couple around so let's see how that looks there you go I think that's pretty cool Let, let's render one of those up well I'll tell you something I quite like it, it looks pretty cool all right this is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I see you back next time. Bye for now.